Hello everyone, we have a given exponential equation on the board. 9 to the power of n plus 18 to the power n equals 36 to the power of n. And we're going to solve for the value of exponent n. Alright? And before we start, uh, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. And now let's start solving the equation. So in here, if you notice, they all have all the terms in the equation got the same exponent. And uh, in this case, whenever you encounter this kind of exponential uh, equation where each term carries the same exponent, all we have to do is uh, find a common base. If not, the other way around, we'll be dividing uh, the whole equation with any of these terms. To find that out, this is 9, it's 18, 36. So... Therefore, best way to do solve for the value of n is divide the equation by any of the terms of this equation. You can divide it by 9 to the power n, or 18 to the power n, or 36 to the power n. So that's how to solve this equation. So in here, it's just a matter of choice uh, which uh, term you want to divide the equation with. So in here, I'm choosing uh, dividing the whole equation with... Uh, 18 to the power of n. All right, so let's do that. 9 to the power of n plus 18 power of n equals 36 to the power of n. Dividing the whole equation with the 18 to the power of n. Okay. All right, so first term, that's uh, 9 divided by 18. Since they're having both the same exponents, so we combine those in a parenthesis. Okay, then second term, 18 divided by uh, 18 power n. So that's uh, 1 and equals 36 divided by 18. So the same as the first term, putting in the parenthesis and both with the power n. So in here, we follow the uh, exponent rule, and the formula is uh, A divided by B, both raised to, let's say, since we have N, where the power M is equal to A divided by B raised to the power N. Simplify the equation, all the terms. This is 9 divided by 18, that's, that's 1 half. So that's 1 half raised to the power of N plus 1 equals 36 divided by 18. This is 2 right there. So this is now 2 to the power of n. And the right side of the equation can be written the same way as 2 over 1 to power of n. So the equation now becomes 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1 equals 2 divided by 1 to the power of n. And from here, we divide the equation by the term on the right side. So that's uh, divided by 2 over 1 to the power of n. So the same way as multiplying 1 over 2 over 1 to the power of n. That's the whole equation. So in here now, so 1 over 2 to the power of n divided by 2 divided by 1 to the power of n plus 1 divided by 2 over 1 to the power of n is equal to since this is the same so that becomes one now we focus our attention on the denominator of this uh, this both of these terms on the left and we have that over here two divided by one to the power n can be written the same way as one over two to the power of n that's negative so we're getting the reciprocal of the base and it turns out the exponent will become negative so we're following exponent formula that is a divided by b raised to let's say since there's m n already we put m over here so that is uh, this could be written the same way as a raised to m divided by b raised to m reciprocal of this numerator and the denominator so that is the same way as b to the power of m divided by a to the power of m and now this becomes negative. So this could be written the same way as b divided by a raised to exponent negative m. 
we're transforming this denominator on both sides, these two terms on the left side of the equation. So the equation now becomes 1 over 2 raised to the power of n divided by 1 divided by 2 raised to negative power of n, then plus 1 divided by 1 over 2 raised to negative n equals 1. So from here, the denominator of this term, the first two terms on the left, these two terms on the left, we can uh, since they both have the same base on here, we can put that uh, this denominator to a numerator now. So this becomes 1 divided by 2 raised to n times 1 divided by 2 raised to positive n. So in here plus the second term, now this becomes 1 divided by 2 raised to power of n, that's positive. And here the same positive from negative become positive. And here we are following the same principle. The formula is uh, 1 divided by a raised to m, that's negative. If you transpose this, put the reciprocal, put it on the, uh, the numerator instead of from the uh, denominator, this could be written now, a raised to positive m over 1, or, or simply a raised to the positive exponent of m. And the right side now becomes the same way, 1. And on here, since we both have the same base, what we have to do now is add their exponent from the formula, that is, a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So this simply means that we're adding the exponent. So this applies to this. So this is now 1 half raised to n plus n plus the second term, 1 half raised to the power of n equals 1. And from here, 1 half raised to n plus n, that's 2n, plus 1 half raised to n equals 1. The left term could be written the same way as 1 half to the power of n raised to the second power. Once again, we have another exponent rule, and that is a raised to n raised to n can be written the same way as a raised to m times n or the same way written as a raised to n times the quantity raised to m. So in here, the second term now, that is plus 1 half raised to n equals 1. So from here, the equation now transformed to a quadratic equation since we have the exponent 2 right there. So we're introducing a, a variable that, that represents one half to the power of n. So let, let x here represent one half to the power of n. The equation now transforms to x squared plus x at one half to the power n. And then transposing the one to the left side of the equation, it would become negative one. So this is now minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here, we can use the uh, quadratic formula to find for the value of x. This equation now becomes in standard form a x squared plus bx plus c. Coefficient over here, a equals 1, then b equals 1, and c equals negative 1. So from the quadratic formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac square root over 2a. We just substitute the values of a, b, c into this formula to find the value of x where a is 1, b is 1, c is negative 1. So in here, x now is equals minus b where b is 1, so minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, b is 1 squared, minus 4a is 1, and c is negative 1, and divided by 2 
times 1 is a, a is 1. So simplify this. x is now negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times negative 1. It's positive, one, positive 4. So this becomes positive 4. Square root over 2. So from here now, the value of x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So that's the value of x. So we take the positive value of the square root of 5. So x therefore now is minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So this is the real solution of the value of x. So that is, so this is the positive one. And taking the negative, x is equal to negative 1 minus negative square root of 5 divided by 2. So this one right here, we are rejecting this because this is not the real solution of the value of x. So this value of x will come up to be negative. So this is uh, imaginary. So it's going to be imaginary number. So this is not the real solution of value of x. So what we do now is uh, we're taking this one right here. Value of x, where the positive value of square root of 5. And since x is just a variable introduced uh, in place of the uh, value of 1 half to the power of n. So that is from here. Now we find the value of uh, n, substituting the value of x that we have just found. So that is uh, x is equal to 1 half to the power of n is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 but by 2. So from here, we can extract the value of n by using natural logarithm or the common logarithm. Either way. So in here, let's use the natural logarithm then. So equating both sides of the equation. So natural logarithm, that's ln of 1 half to the power of n is equal to ln of negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 exponent n comes down as a coefficient on the left on the front of this uh, ln 1 half so that is n times ln of 1 half is equal to ln of minus 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2 divide the whole equation with ln of 1 half ln of 1 half but by ln of 1 half so this one reduces to 1 and the left side of the equation becomes n is equal to the right side ln of negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 all over ln of 1 half so that's the value of n so this is our final answer and then from here, if we were to check our answer, substitute this value of n to the original equation. So the easier way to do is uh, find the uh, numerical value in terms of decimal. So n is equal to 0.6942. So substitute this value of n to the original equation to check our answer. So we have here the original equation. Now we're substituting the value of n to this original equation. So 9 to the power n is equal to 9 raised to 0.6942 plus 18 raised to 0.6942. So that's the same way 36 raised to power n, 0.6942. 9 raised to this exponent, 0 0.6942. This comes out to 4.596 plus 18 raised to the same power n, 7.437 and is this equal to 36 to that exponent n so is 12.033 and now adding this 4.596 plus 7.437 this comes up to be 12.033 is exactly equal to 12.033 Right, so this has confirmed that the value of n that we found is correct, 0 0.6942.
and the exact value of n is in here where it's expressed in the natural logarithm all right and so that's all for now and for those new to my channel and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet i would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you very much thank you for watching have a great day everyone i'll see you on the next videos bye